Welcome back to the spot. We are live from Breeze Kitchen, Hello Fresh edition. We know a lot of people have been asking about, you know, how Hello Fresh works and is it worth it and will I get full? So we decided to do a review and I think you all will enjoy it. We like it. Uh, we've ordered it on several occasions. So um, we just thought we'd share it with you guys. Um, so how it works is you choose a plan we choose the classic plan because it's only two of us for a number of two people you get three meals for one week our meal our box got delivered yesterday it comes in a box with freezer pads and it's left outside of your door uh freezer pads and freezer packs to keep your ingredients cool until you get home um and this is typically how it comes in the box you get three different meals packaged up in brown bags you get whatever meat that you chose. So whatever meals you choose, they all come with a different meat and they're packaged separately like this. And then you get a recipe card for, for each meal. So what we're gonna be doing today is pan seared duck breasts <laughs> with duck fried potatoes, asparagus, and grape tomatoes. Uh, the other two meals we ordered, just to let you know, we got the one pan orzotto italiano uh, with chicken sausage, tomatoes, and spinach, and that was really good. We we ate that last night. We ate the entire thing. Killed it. Killed it. Lit. And then tomorrow we're gonna be doing chicken ranchero tacos, and I'm sure those will be good with charred corn salsa and lime crema. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, but tonight we're gonna be showing you the pan seared duck breast. I know this is something different. This is something a lot of people don't eat. We will start cooking normal foods or whatever you consider to be normal. Um, but I think you will enjoy this one. And if you were to taste it, I think you'd like it too. Um, so like I said, it comes in a brown sack. Each meal comes packaged separately. And so this is the pan seared duck breast sack. You got tomatoes. Great. Got chives. You got your asparagus, and everything comes sealed, packaged separately. You got your chicken demi glaze sauce, sauce. and then you got a sack of fingerling potatoes in the bottom. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get those prepped so we can start cooking and we can show you how it works. The recipe card is really cool because on the back, so on the front, you got the photo of how it should look when you get finished. And then on the back, it has the step-by-step -step directions along with photos and ingredients. So you'll know if you're doing something wrong. The whole plan down. All right, so let's get started. Okay. <laughs> All right, so step two, we're gonna start working on our duck now. So what you wanna do is pat your duck dry with paper towels. Season generously with salt and pepper. Season. We're gonna be placing it skin down in the large pan, cooking it over medium heat until the skin is crisp and most of the fat has rendered. 15 crisp. to 20 minutes, pouring off and reserving the fat as it renders. Uh, side note, I keep me a little small glass bowl on the side to be able to pick up the fat because with duck, it does, it pushes off a lot of fat and it pushes off fast and you don't want it to sit in the skillet with the meat. So I do keep a little bowl and a spoon to continuously scoop it out. Um, and it says there's a tip, lower heat if the skin begins to brown too quickly. Flip the duck and cook to desired doneness, about five minutes more. And then we're gonna transfer it uh, to a plate to let it rest. Now I might have to come back to this card maybe once or twice just to make sure I'm following the step correctly. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get our, our duck seasoned. says to salt and pepper generously. Meaning you can be hidden. Gentle. Gentle. <laughs> meaning, meaning you can be heavy handed. I normally would add a little bit of extra seasoning like some Creole seasoning or some garlic powder, but I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and follow the directions. Just be proud of your cooking. 
All right, what you think? There's enough salt. I ain't gonna put no more. I know I love salt, and I know it's not good for you, and I don't need y'all to tell me. Look at that skin. Look how it looks different. It looks different. I forgot to be looking that way. Let me wash my hands really quick. Let me keep it under. Wow. Clean red meat. Wait, quick. And this is duck breast again. Oh, heavily soft. This is skin soft. The rest, I think we were, I think we were a little nervous about trying it the very first time, but it was so good. So I don't know where we can purchase it at here in Birmingham, other than Hello Fresh, but I'm definitely gonna find out because this is gonna be added to our nightly, weekly menu. on the struggle bus with this pepper. Mm-hmm. You got it. Yeah, isn't that good? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down my duck brace and skin side down. This is set to about a medium heat. I'm gonna crank it down just a little bit. And the instructions say to allow it to cook until the skin is crisp and most of the fat has risen. So I'm gonna let those cook on down. Let's check and see what it looks like. Beautiful. Good. Yeah, good, boy. Perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna take these duck fat and I'm gonna bring them right over here. And I'm gonna bring that to medium heat so we can duck fry our potatoes. All right, looks like that's pretty warm. It's pretty warm, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're gonna add our potatoes. Yeah. Turn those around and get that good duck fat. Get it plump. Get the potatoes plump. There you go, fat. Get the good flavor. Some more salt, pepper, and who doesn't love fat? We all love fat. So we let those potatoes boil for about 12 to 15 minutes until you can pierce right through them with the fork. We took the duck fat from our duck breast, heated it up, and we're now tossing our potatoes around in here for about three to five minutes. I just wanna make sure I got a good coat. I just wanna make sure I got a good coat on here. Off our duck breast for another five minutes. Another five minutes. I'm turning it on this side so I can make sure it cooks all the way through. 
you notice it starts to puff up. It's not a level piece of meat anymore. So some might cook faster than the other. So I'm just turning it on the side just so I can make sure it's done all right. Lit! <laughs> I think it makes time to take those potatoes out of here. Yeah. I'm going to take these out. And I know you're like, hey, uh, <laughs> he's not about to get full off them little bit of potatoes, but I promise you. Potatoes are done. We're just gonna go ahead and salt and pepper those and set them to the side until we're ready to chow down. So good, y'all don't even know. All right, so those are done. Setting those to the side. I believe our duck brace is just about done as well. We're getting ready to take those out. Work on step four. your veggies. Meanwhile, add the asparagus and two teaspoons of water to the pan used for duck over medium heat. Cover and steam until bright green about two to four minutes. Uncover, then increase the heat to medium high in a drizzle of duck fat and tomatoes. Cook, stirring occasionally until asparagus is tender and tomatoes burst about three to five minutes. Season with salt and pepper transfer to a plate and set aside. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get all of our duck fat out of here. Duck fat, duck fat. Get the duck fat out. And we're gonna add the asparagus. You up, green. And about two tablespoons of water. Right, and because I don't have a, the correct lid, I'm going to have to get a little hood with it and put a little type of lid over it. I'm gonna crank it down a little bit so it don't work it out. All right, I believe those are bright green at this point. It says to uncover, then increase heat to medium high and add a drizzle of duck fat in your tomatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and duck crank fat, it back up. Fat. I'm gonna go ahead and add my. It's all tight to me. Mm -hmm. 
Tell how flimsy the asparagus is starting to become. That lets me know it's about done. I don't like my asparagus too soggy, but I don't like it too crispy either. Oh, we got a nice meal to it. That's what I'm talking about. Chicken dinner yeah, clean. Lit! 